Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to World by Connie Corso. I know everyone has been waiting and waiting and waiting to see these puppies and we've just been a little selfish with them. Um, this litter is literally like 17 years of work in the making. Um, if we had the space, we would keep every one of these puppies. Um, but we don't. That said, um, we're gonna start going through and evaluating them. We've really watched these puppies grow up a lot and I know that we have not shared them a lot with you. Part of that is because um, the Alapahas are in the main puppy pen, as well as um, we've had a few contractor issues where our puppy pen isn't done, so we were hoping to have the cameras up on top to run the live feeds. We just aren't there yet at this point, so thank you for your patience with that, but we do have big plans to allow you to interact with our litters as they grow. But this is the W litter. Um, goes all the way back to our foundation on both sides. Uh, line bred on Pacino, which is the foundation on Louie's side, and then goes back to my heart dog, Stiletto, Stella, my tata butt, um, on Dora's side, that is Dora's grandmother. So Bugatti, grand champion Bugatti, is Dora's, I'm sorry, yeah, Dora's father, and um, that is where the fawn comes from in this litter. So obviously being grand champion, he's a super, super nice dog, still with us at almost 12 years old. Um, but anyways, we're gonna get into these puppies. Uh, this is the fawn girl. We call her the fawn girl. She doesn't have a heavy mass. She's got a real light mask. So she's slightly larger than the other fawn girl, but does definitely have a, a lighter mask on her. So ear cropping is optional. I hear Aiden coming back. Where are you going? Wait, do you hear him coming? She does. She hears him coming. <laughs> there he is. All right. So Aiden is now with us, right? Um, this is the fawn girl, and she's got to look amazing from the front, does she? Yeah. Aiden, don't squish her ears down. Does she? Yeah. This was the number one pick. Um, a lot of it for me has to do with the color because it, it doesn't matter how many dogs you encounter when you have that one dog that's just your dog. Hey Aiden, could you grab that, um, the thing of food over there? You're always searching for that one dog. And because Tate was Formentino, I kind of, no, the other little one. I kind of gravitate to the Dilutes, just, just searching out that dog. Good grief, she doesn't even need any food. These puppies are so consistent. Um, come on up here. You don't, you really don't even need this, but she'll probably pull up even more with it. There, and she's got her tail up. Oops, right here, nope. You were better without it. Too busy with it. <laughs> they don't get this after, they get like three or four meals of this stuff and then that's it. Yeah, super nice puppy. Okay, 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 you're, here, can you take that back, sweetie? Thank you. Here, clean off my fingers so that we can stack you. Oh, hey, oh. it's over here. She's like, no, he left with it. Yep, I know, okay, let's clean this up. Get it off my hands so we don't have you distracted. Okay, let's stack her back up. So what we're looking at here, because we always try and teach in our videos, we are looking at this shoulder angulation. It protrudes out this top to line that is absolutely care. level. Beautiful top line. I should have done that before I gave her her food. I think we're going to hold off on the others with the food if they just stack up. So everything ties in. See how smooth that is and everything ties in. You look at her from the front. This is level. She's got a little bit of a nose rope, which tells us she's going to have a bigger head. But that is the Corso standard right there. She's got a nice shoulder, nice rear angulation. She could use ever so slightly a little more bend to stifle. Um, and I'm looking at the opposite leg that you're looking at, but that would be right here. So this angulation is good. This is good. But right here is the stifle and it could have ever so slightly, but that's me being picky, but that's how I am. I'm very, very picky. And um, being picky, having Eric to kind of lean on as far as a second opinion, it's it allows us to have reached where we're at in the breeding 
and um, really this this litter here will prove the consistency that we've been working on so this is the fawn girl with the lighter color mask and um, she should go to a show or breeding home. Um, I would like the opportunity to get a puppy out of her in the future if she doesn't stay with us. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, not everybody um, is willing to do that, but this really is a, a great litter. So we'll be right back with another one. Okay, <laughs> this is the black brindle girl. She's quite dark. Um, she has even, Dora has a little light mark right here on her ear and she even has that. So she is a little baby Dora. Um, again, would keep this one as well. Um, Aiden, please stop. She's trying to, wants to play with that. Nope. Put your pads down. Okay, Thank you. there she is with her mock ears. Really nice puppy. Hang on, wait for that Aiden. You're just going to hear me say that over and over with this litter. And and still even, I'm really happy with the puppies we're producing, but they're still getting better. And that's where we want to encourage breeders to go is even if you have great dogs, still find the small, wait a minute please, find the small things that can help you get even better. Okay, so this is a really nice puppy too. Not quite as great in the angulation as the other one. Her chest doesn't stick out quite as much. Still nice, don't get me wrong. I try and pick these puppies apart and people are like, oh, well that one wasn't good. No, she's still better than a lot you're ever gonna find. Um, there we go. See how her shoulder came out a little bit when she rocks forward into it. The rear angulation is moderate, which is actually what the standard is supposed to be. But you'll notice hey, that Aiden, because- Can you stand behind mom's left arm? Just stand right there for a minute. You'll notice that because she doesn't have quite as much shoulder angulation, see how this wrinkles up here? That's just how all this ties in. And there, these are the little things that educated breeders will help you with. And that's what I encourage people to do. If we do anything, we wanna give you the tools to pick a good breeder that knows what they're talking about, as well as a good puppy. Not every puppy's a good breeding candidate. And a good breeder can tell you why each puppy is or is not a breeding candidate. So Aiden's got this puppy stacked up here, and um, she's she's a really nice nice puppy. How consistent this top line is! Top lines are one of my big things because a lot of dogs will have a big dip right here and a hump here, and we try to really emphasize our top lines. Um, the shoulder angulation is getting more consistent. It is one of the things the breed is lacking. Now the rear, by standard, they're supposed to be moderate. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and she is moderate. She's a little overstacked right now, but she is moderate. Um, and that's truthfully by standard, I'm sorry, sweetie, how they're supposed to be. Um, but because most of the breeds in AKC, let me get another puppy and I'll keep talking. Thank you, Aiden, good job. This is one of the boys. He is the one that has a little bit more brindle, ever so slightly bigger. I mean, slightly, slightly. But this one is super outgoing. He needs a family who is gonna go and do stuff. Um, would be great with kids. He's really good with Aiden. As you can see, he just loves to play. He wants to play, he's got other stuff to go do, don't you? I know, I know it. No, hold on, no. You are so busy, I'm so busy. And he's gonna be a big puppy, a very, very big puppy. Um, he'll probably go every bit of 150. Aiden, stop touching him for a minute. He's a funny trying puppy to, too. Yeah, he's not being super cooperative because he likes to do his own thing. With me. Okay, we Thank got you. it, finally. He's sitting still. Oh, did you get it? We may have to slow-mo that because this one, he can smell the food is what he smells that the first puppy dropped. And I think these guys, they don't really need pulled up much. So they're just probably not gonna get the food for the stacking. There we go. Got it. <laughs> okay, he's obviously not gonna hold still much more for us. Um, but nice show prospect. We've seen him stacked up just kind of walking around. Um, and they're always better. No, Aiden, stop. Aiden. 
they're always better natural than when we manually stack them but I was putting the food away. so here's this puppy he's a little over stacked which means his front is is his front good on that side it's a little bit far out um, but he's got a nice shoulder angle stop leaning back there you go Aiden grab the um, gra don't jump okay Let's see if I can get his attention for a minute there we go there you got him okay so nice shoulder angle nice rear angulation on him really nicely put together puppy wonderful show prospect amazing temperament he's brave outgoing big he's got really nice movement <laughs> he's hungry he's hungry <laughs> they just they love this stuff this is their puppy mush that they get there there nope put that back put it back we got he's, it he's if you want to see it pause it <laughs> right but that's pre that's pretty good a mm -hmm. little bit uphill in his angulation Youch, that was my finger, mister. Super nice puppy, very, very outgoing. Um, would love to see him in a home where he can stay intact and we have the opportunity to, to potentially use him in the future. Again, 17 years of work coming together in this litter on both sides. We'll be back. Okay, now we have the fawn girl. She has more mask. See how much darker her mask is? Look at how correct her head is, square. Square muzzle. She's nice and wide through the eyes. Nice stop. She beautiful. We may have some availability in this litter. Um, whoops. No, that's not it. Because <laughs> a lot of people, we still have over 40 people on the waiting list, but a lot of people aren't able to complete the payment to purchase right now. Thank you to our Wonderful. Da, 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 bleepity, 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 blank. <laughs> um, so to our economical situation. You're right. Whatever you blame that on. <laughs> anyway, so we may have some availability. Um, if you are on our waiting list and you are ready for a puppy, please contact us. So this is the fawn girl with the heavier mask who sees Aiden running around over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're going to stack her up. She's ever so slightly, I know it smells like the food, baby. I know it does. She's slightly smaller than the other fawn girl. Um, still going to be good size. She'll probably be about Dora's size, and Dora is 115 pounds. Would you stand up? Put your weight on that leg. There you go. No, you're going to fall off if you do that. There you go. Nice puppy. Great shoulder on her. A little straight in the rear, but... Yeah, so... Bugatti had a sister named Dolce, and Dolce was uh, very similar to her. Nice puppy, earned her championship, a little straight in the rear, and I would say that same thing with her. Um, shoulder could use a little bit more, depending on how she stands. Here, sniff that. Put your attention over here. Yeah. I know there's nothing in it, but it does have smells. There we go. Yeah, her, she can use ever so slightly more. I She's like high-end pet quality, right? A lot of people would sell her as a show dog. I don't know that um, the competition's getting, um, it's getting better. The dogs in the ring are getting more consistent, which is fantastic for the breed. Um, so if we were looking for one to keep, this wouldn't be the show dog that we would keep amazing companion she's beautiful comes from great parents she's cute she's fun she still has good structure but just some of the other ones in this litter are <laughs> just phenomenal but what we are saying is that because the corso by standard is supposed to be moderate their angulation in the rear is supposed to be moderate now the front end I'll use a different puppy with the front, but she's a little straight. And when we say straight, hold on, we mean right here. There's not much angulation in there. So she's gonna be like Dolce was, um, and Dolce was that same way, a little straight in the rear. Something easy to fix as a breeding dog. So um, 
nice beautiful little ever so slightly overshot bite right now which is what we want instead of undershot but she has a great head nice top line beautiful tail set she's straight she's not east or easty westy is what we call it when they do in or out with their front legs and she's not cow hocked and cow hocked is when the rear end would be like toes pointing out and this would be sickle hocked with the hocks pointing out we can do a whole video on that we should do that what do you think put that down in the comments should we do that should we do a video on that showing you more of the structure or should we wait and put that on the patreon um it's good information for everybody to have yeah that that, that seems like that's more patreon driven for the people that are wanting the deeper involvement yeah, more in-depth right but anyways this is the fawn girl with the darker mask and we have two more brindle boy and then the blue brindle girl okay this is the other brindle boy um they're the boys are kind of hard to tell apart um even for us we know them because but if you were to come and see them you wouldn't really tell any difference in them um he's got a little less brindle to him they're still as you can see these boys are super outgoing Oops. you good yeah camera malfunction no nope. chair malfunction <laughs> better than a wardrobe malfunction oh. Oh. i get more views with more <laughs> right <laughs> There you go. There's him with his mock ear crop, if I can get my hands out of the way. Good. And we will stack him up. We'll see if he wants to stack up. Again, super nice puppy. We've seen him stacked up around the yard when they're out playing. He has wonderful rear angulation. If I can get him in a spot where he can show it off. See the bend here? That's the rear angulation we're talking about. Nice level top line. Tail set comes right into the top line. He's got a great shoulder on him. See the angulation here? Remember, this is the pendulum. That's what gives them that good movement. They're supposed to move big and swing through the shoulders like a big cat. Think tiger, think corso. And if it doesn't swing like a, like a tiger and have that elasticity within its movement, then it's not two breed standard of Corso. The head on this one, look at that. Nice square muzzle, comes in, up to the stop. Whew, you are a nice buddy. Yes, you are. Can you smell this at all and pull forward for me? There you go. <laughs> and it just made him go crazy. So anyways, really nice puppy. But what we were saying in the why, so this is sort of moderate angulation, but it's, it's heavy for a Corso. And the reason why so many breeders are breeding for more angulation in the rear now is because most AKC breeds um, want more angulation than what the Corso standard calls for. So when you are dealing with an all breed judge, you're also um, dealing with somebody who has a preference. And most judges like, a, like lots of bend in the stifle in the rear, and they like a heavier angulation. And that's kind of what we've had to concede to with the breed, especially once you get, good Lord, up into the group ring where they're being judged against other breeds. So you may have a, a judge who is certified to judge the Corso, but maybe that's not their specialty. And they're looking at, you know, all, all these other breeds that have, by standard, are supposed to have heavy def defined rear angulation. And when you go down the line and you see the Corso that's moderate, if that judge doesn't know for certainty that the Corso is supposed to be moderate, they're going to kind of knock them down for that, especially if that judge is particularly one who likes a nice rear or what they consider to be a nice rear. So it's that fine line in breeding for both what the judges like as well as what's correct in the ring um, or by breed standard. All right, are you ready for the last one? This is a really, really, really hard litter for us because, like I said, uh, we would keep them all, but in all fairness, um, they, they get more attention, they do, um, with someone else. And that's something we're going to dive really deep into, into the, on the Patreon, is not only the happy and fun and the love we get from these puppies, because all of that is just gravy. <laughs> is it a lot of work? It is. But this is what it's all about, raising puppies that love people that gravitate to people, that understand they can look to us for safety and comfort and all that stuff. Biden! No, you don't go to. <laughs> you don't go to. <laughs>
Oh, my leg fell asleep. Okay, this is the tough one. All right, so I told you the story about Tata Butt. And if you've got a favorite dog that will always hold that one place in your heart. I'm not saying that the other ones don't hold places, but there's that one. Drop that down in the comments. What's your dog's name? What's its breed? What did it mean to you? Um, it's really cool to have these dogs and how important a role they play in our lives. So that's why, as a breeder, we almost quit breeding a few years ago. Um, and again, we'll dig into that in the Patreon just because it is, it, it's a lifestyle and it's not a lifestyle that a lot of people can, can handle. Um, imagine you don't ever get to not work. The phone can always ring. You're, you're on call 24 seven. And some of you may have some sort of job like this, but I'm talking 24 seven, 365, any problem that happens, it's your job to take care of it. Um, you don't get to go away on vacations. You don't get to do a lot of the things that normal families get to do. I better get going with you because you are getting crazy. Um, but this one, she has the head style that I'm looking for that my Tata Butt had. Um, you do, I know. And her body is great as well. She is just a really nice overall dog. And um, this line is super, super, super special. Um, but she would be the one that we keep if we can make room for one out of this litter, which I just don't know. Um, so she has a head that Tata Butt had, and it's a very clean, very traditional head on the Corso. You're not going to see those heavy jowls. They're not supposed to have those heavy jowls. You're not going to see the heavy wrinkling in the face. They're not supposed to have it. See how she's at attention? There's wrinkles right here. Breed standard. They should have wrinkles upon no. expression, and that is exactly what she has. Did you, did, it, did you get her with her ears? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see how we stack her up. She's stacked in the yard for us a few times and just been phenomenal. I don't know if I'll get that same picture out of her out here. It's never as good when it's artificial, but let's be closer together. Hold on. She's just paying attention to Aiden and that's it. I don't have any food left in there. And can you go sit on the wall in front of her? Just still. Okay. But when you were over there, she was trying to see you. Oh, there it is. No. Aiden, look overhead, please. Thank you. Will you do me a favor and put a little bit of food in here? Hey. Put a little bit of food in there for me. Can you just climb over the wall? There you go. I am not getting her attention. Huh. I'm not getting your attention. Well, she just wants to give kisses and play. But we want to show everybody. <laughs> when you get a puppy from a breeder. That's her saying that she doesn't want to go, so you don't need pictures. Right. When you get a puppy from a breeder, um, pay attention. Um, they shouldn't ever run away from a breeder or seem like they're frightened or scared when they're around the people who raised them. If that's the case, and I've seen that in a couple um, bigger breeders, not necessarily AKC breeders, um, and we're, we'll get into that, but um, I'm talking breeder of merit, AKC breeders, um, not AKC in general. Um, but I've seen it where the puppies are fearful even around their people who have raised them and they shouldn't ever be that way. She can't have that much, sweetie. Can you get me just a tiny bit in there? I appreciate you filling that up, but it's too much. Yeah, that'll work. That's still kind of a lot, but that's, that's okay. Here, that's what you're looking for. All right, so we talk about show puppies, and that's what it's all about right there. We got shoulder angulation, level slash uphill top line. I don't need you to push forward. Just hold still. You don't need that rear leg in order to eat. There you go. That 
is a show puppy. We're gonna have to pause that and get a picture or something. <laughs> it was stuck on your nose. There. Gosh. Only complaint is maybe she's a hair short in the back. Yeah. So. And I don't think she's short in the back. I think she's shorter than the others is what it is. So. Yeah, the other ones are real, lo real long in the back. Still, look at the shoulders on her. If I can show you mm -hmm. from here when she reaches up, the shoulders on her. Good grief, is she a nice, nice puppy. Here you go. Can you hold that for me, please? Thank you. But that's what it's all about. And get a hold of us by email on our website, whatever. Um, we are going to offer in-depth mentoring, use of our contracts, our applications. All we're basically going to, for the breeders who are just starting out, you really want somebody to um, lean on, a reputation to be part of. That's that's what we're going to do. So if you've stuck around to the end with us, and that's something that you're interested in, um, let us know. But that's probably the only way that this one will leave here. Um, she. She's a worldwide dog and she will produce puppies that are worldwide puppies. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your food with me. I appreciate it. But thank you all for watching to the end. Um, again, if you got that heart dog, put that down in the comments. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. Share it if there's any educational content you think that other people can benefit from. If you don't subscribe, consider hitting that subscribe button. That'll notify you every time we bring more videos. And... We're going to try and get it done today, but we're going to ultrasound Envy, who was bred to Grand Champion Worldwide's Lucian, the Colt Scardigano, and uh, he's actually a bronze Grand Champion. So we're going to ultrasound her as soon as we put these guys up, and uh, we'll have both of these videos ready for you in the next uh, 24 hours. And I'm hoping, we're hoping, right, that our ultrasound works. We have an older ultrasound machine. Sometimes it gives us great pictures of the puppies, sometimes it doesn't. So if it works, you'll see that video. If not, then it won't. <laughs> right? We'll just let you know yes or no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.